Understanding Attack Simulation Training in Microsoft 365. Attack Simulation Training is a powerful feature within Microsoft Defender for Office 365 designed to strengthen your organization's defenses against social engineering attacks. This tool is integrated into the Microsoft 365 Defender portal, providing a comprehensive security solution for your organization. Let's examine how attack simulation training works to protect your organization. The process begins when administrators launch simulated attacks against users in their organization. These simulations identify vulnerable users who might fall victim to real attacks. After each simulation, targeted training is provided to improve awareness and security practices. This hands-on approach gives users experience with real-world threats in a controlled environment. The platform provides detailed reports showing the effectiveness of your simulations and training programs, allowing you to track improvement over time. Attack simulation training leverages various social engineering techniques based on the MITRE attack framework. These techniques include credential harvesting, where deceptive websites attempt to steal user credentials, malware attachments that simulate malicious files, and QR code attacks, a newer technique that uses QR codes to replace traditional phishing URLs. Here's an example of a sophisticated phishing attempt that includes a QR code. These attacks are becoming increasingly common and can be particularly effective because they bypass traditional link scanning technologies. Understanding the scale of the threat is critical to appreciating the importance of attack simulation training. According to Verizon's 2024 Data Breach Investigations Report, the human element is involved in 68% of breaches. Between 80 to 95% of these incidents originate from phishing attacks. Studies show that after 12 months of regular phishing training, users' ability to detect and report malicious content more than doubles. This chart from HelpNet Security illustrates the dominance of social engineering as one of the top categories of data breaches, accounting for over 20% of incidents. Microsoft continues to enhance attack simulation training with new features and integrations. Recent developments include integration with Terranova Security to enhance end-user training capabilities, the introduction of QR code simulations to mimic modern phishing tactics, autonomous simulations with advanced reporting and analytics, and alignment with the MITRE ATT&CK framework to ensure realistic attack scenarios. By understanding how attack simulation training works in Microsoft 365, you can proactively strengthen your organization's defenses against increasingly sophisticated cyber threats. To configure an attack simulation training in Microsoft Defender, first access the portal and navigate to email and collaboration, then attack simulation training. Once in the attack simulation training section, click on launch a simulation to start the configuration wizard. Here you can see the payload library where you can select or create phishing content for your simulations. Next, select a social engineering technique that aligns with your training objectives. Options include credential harvest, malware attachment, link-in attachment, or QR code simulations, which is a newer feature. Give your simulation a descriptive name that reflects its purpose. Then choose a payload, either from predefined options or create a custom one tailored to your organization. As seen here, you can configure sender details and phishing links to make the simulation realistic. Next, select the target users for your simulation. You can target all users in your organization, specific individuals, or Microsoft Entra groups. You can create and manage these groups in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Assign training modules to users who get compromised during the simulation. This provides an immediate learning opportunity and reinforces security best practices. You can assign different training based on the specific action taken, such as clicking a link or entering credentials. Configure the launch details for your simulation, including the start date and time, end date, and frequency. You can set up one-time or recurring simulations and customize email delivery preferences to make the simulation more realistic. Before launching, review all settings to ensure your simulation is properly configured. Check your technique selection, payload configuration, target audience, training assignments, and launch schedule. When ready, click the Launch button to start your simulation. After launching the simulation, monitor its progress and analyze the reports to gain insights into user behavior. 
These reports show compromised rates compared to predicted values, helping you measure the effectiveness of your training program. Follow these best practices for effective simulations. Customize payloads to be realistic and relevant to your organization. Conduct regular training sessions to reinforce awareness. Automate the process when possible to improve efficiency. Target different departments with relevant scenarios and always analyze results to improve future simulations. By following these steps and best practices, you can effectively configure and launch attack simulations to strengthen your organization's security posture.